Hello everyone, welcome to Drink and Drive, where we review a brew and talk about cars. My name's Andrew. And I'm Brian. Let's get right down to it. Alright Andrew, so what kind of beer are we drinking today? Today I brought with me the Cape May IPA. Cape May Brewing Company is a, brewing, a brewery down in Cape May, New Jersey, uh, the southernmost tip of Jersey. And uh, I've had this beer before, personally. Um, so have I. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. Well, we so. figured we'd have it for our first one. And, uh, thank you. Let's crack these suckers open. All right, cheers. All right, Brad, what are we talking about today? So today we're talking about mid-sized German sedans. Okay. The E300 Mercedes. Uh -huh. We're talking about the A6 and the S6. And we're talking about the um, 5 Series right, BMW. BMW. Okay. So the Mercedes E Class, the A model, A6. Sure. And, and the, the BMW, the BMW 5 the Series. Right. Okay, so and, and tell everybody why we're talking about this. So we're talking about this because I drive a 2013 BMW 550i X Drive. Um, so we started oh, off. We started off with just doing my car because I figured it's you know just some spot to take to start from. So yeah, so that's why I want to talk about this topic today. Right. And right. So so we've got the we've got you driving the uh, an already German luxury sedan. Sure. Uh, so let's talk. Let's start with Mercedes. So Mercedes offers what? The E three hundred. Okay. And two AMG cars. All right, and so now what's what's Mercedes base into that? So they have the E three hundred, which is a two liter turbo, okay, four cylinder. Um, base price starts at roughly fifty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then they have the E forty the E forty three AMG, which is okay. a three liter twin turbo, and then they have the E sixty three. Yep. All right. So then, all right. and then then what is that? So Audi has the A6, which comes with a two-liter turbo and a and a um, and a three-liter supercharged, actually three-liter supercharged um, all-wheel drive. Again, starting base price fifty grand. Well, pretty much you can assume that every single one of these cars is going to be purchased all-wheel drive. They do have rear-wheel drive options, but we we know at this point everybody's getting all-wheel drive. So right. more often than not, they're all gonna, they're all going to be all-wheel drive. So, for the most part. so Mercedes, BMW, and Audi all have two liter turbo cars, all starting at about $50,000, all roughly around the same zero to 60 times. They're, they're all basically com comparable with each other. Right, so at that point, the only thing that you're selecting based off of is style, yeah. preference. Options. Yeah, sure. Uh, now, once we get into the more power hungry end of things. Mm -hmm. We've, what do we have? We've got the S6. So we have this guy just dump a bunch of nails. <laughs> we can just stick move. Attach the damn I'm like putting my foot up there. Then move it somewhere right. else. So it's spilled over now, so it doesn't matter. So, all right. Going back. Going back. So, so you've got, all right, so you got the, the S6, right? Mm -hmm. You've got the E43. Mm -hmm. Which is somewhat in there, but then you've also got the E63. So, I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put the E63. Honestly, looking back, I wouldn't even put the E63 in the same well, class as well, the. Well, so wait, you put it on the list. Explain why you put it on the list. I put it on the list because it's available. I put it on the list because it's in the AMG line for an E class, and they don't. There's nothing to compare it to right now with BMW and and Audi. There isn't. So you have. Audi's S6, which is their top of the line performance midsize sedan that only competes with the E43 AMG and the M550i X Drive from BMW. That's it. That's no, all it compares wait, wait, wait. with. It's not an M5. It's not an M5. There's no M5. None. Zero. None. So you have this E46. Yeah. So you have the E46 AMG. Which is 600 horsepower. E40, was it an E43? No, I'm talking about the E63. Oh, okay. So you have this E63, and you just told me to talk about the E63. What are you doing? 
Would you listen? I'm gonna try to school you a little bit. So you had the E63S, okay, mm -hmm. AMG, which is 600 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds, just this overall, just crazy annihilating E-Class. And it's 104. It's $100,000, right? Yeah. Okay. Bitch. And so, everything that we're talking about is in that $70,000. 70, once you start getting into options, $80,000. Yeah, if you're talking about the E43, the S6, and the M550i M5 M5 X-Drive, mm -hmm. mouthful, they're all base price about 70, 75. Let's just call it the M5. Yeah. It's not you. an M5. I fuck BMW. No, no, no. The fuck call, BMW. No. It's an M5. Yeah. It is an M5. It's fuck not an M5. We love, we love BMW. Don't get us wrong. All right. It's a, it's a soft M5. I'll call it that. Okay. I got your soft M5 right here. All right. So. All right. So. Basically, to recap, all three come with the two-liter turbo. All three. One, two, three. E-Class, you know, your 530 and your, uh, e your uh, A6. DA6, yeah, yeah, yeah. All come two-liter turbo. No, wait, that's not, uh, that, yeah, base A6. Okay, so then once, all right, but then you've <coughs> so got to So once you want to go to bigger motors, okay, you want to step up a little yeah. bit. So you have nothing available in the E-Class without going AMG. And why is that? I don't know. Well, didn't you say that they got rid of the, the 400? They only right. make the E-400s in the coupe and the cabriolet for some reason. Right, so then basically they just, they could have built an option, but they decided not to. And they I, might come out with it later. I don't know why they would do that, but whatever. But it makes no sense. So, so, so then- Available so, right now. So Mercedes, there's nothing, but then you get into Audi, there's the S-Line, right? The S-Line A6. Well, I'm not even talking about the S-Line. Yes, the S-Line A6. But that has a, the bigger motor without yes. being an S6. Without being an S6, so you have an S-Line A6, which comes with a three liter supercharged. Right, so then that kind of is like, it's like, oh, I don't want this base model two liter whatever, but I don't really want to go S6. Right. So I'll go S-Line A6. Because and, you also don't get the upgraded Suspension that comes along with the S. Oh, right. You don't get the rest of the sports so It's not just about suspension. The... It's just an S line. So you have the body styling, you know, a little bit of sporty touches here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you don't get the, the, right. the total package. Right. And then, of course, then you want, once you get the BMW, you've got the 540, which is also That's a, a three step meter. Up. Right, Ten it's turbo. a step up in the motor, but it's not the soft M5 that we're talking no. about, which again is so, with the E46. Three, whatever it is. I don't know Mercedes. I don't really, let me just. Let me just. I don't care for Mercedes. I'm not a big Mercedes fan. I've never really researched Mercedes. I've always researched Audis and BMWs. Uh, Mercedes is kind of like you know. Once we start getting an E class, it's like, oh, is that what class of flight? Uh, flying. It's a bad joke, but it's a bad joke. Nah, but I make it anyway. So, so basically, going back. You can get an A6 with a three liter supercharge. You can get a BMW 5 Series, which is the 540, which is the six cylinder twin turbo, which yeah. is the old 535. Yep. Now they call it a 540. 540, yeah. Okay. They, they did away with the 528 and then right. the, five, and the 535. But last year you can get the E400 and a, a, a four door sedan from Mercedes, um, which came with the six cylinder twin turbo. Right, right. But you can't get it this year, so we're not talking about that. No. So. Those are your other two options for stepping up your game a little bit with the A6 and the uh, 5 Series. So to step it up even further, then you go into the M Sport package and the 550, M550i X-Drive. Something fast. The S6 and the E43. Right, okay. Right, so they're all pretty close. I think BMW... Well, yeah, yeah, we, already, we already talked about every, each of them being in that $70,000, $80,000 right. price range. Once you start getting into yeah. options, yeah. power is all about the same. Yeah. But I went, I took it a step further and I did some math. So I took the power to uh, the, the dollar per horsepower ratio, right? So what the cost of the car is versus the power that it makes. And the, the Mercedes uh, was one, I think that was the most expensive, 177 per horsepower. Yep. The Audi was 167 or 165 per horsepower. Mm -hmm. And then the BMW was 160 per right. horsepower. So really, 
the BMW is the best buy based strictly based off of dollar per horsepower. Mm -hmm. You're getting the biggest bang for your buck. Yep. And then once you start getting into the zero to 60 times, it's actually the fastest. Yep. So really it all makes sense. To put that E63 that we talked about, the $104,000 car into that. That's what I said. It's not it's, even in the same it place. It really doesn't sit well. Because we're not talking about an N5 and we're not talking about something oh, faster than an make, S6. Which yeah, they don't, don't make an N5. So who, who gives a shit? All right. So, so really, I mean, the BMW winds up being the best buy. Now, all that being said, you drive a 550, you know, it's a 2013. Excuse me, 2013. So, do you buy another 550, this M550i X drive, or do you buy one of these other two options? If you're, if, 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 you're, if you're leaving me with no other option, then I have to get rid of my car, and I have to trade it in on I am. Yep. Uh -huh. one, on an E-Class, or a 5 Series, or, or, an or an S6, or an A6, whatever. I think I'm going with the E43 AMG. Okay. Which is what you said the worst price per it horsepower. Is. It is. It is the slowest zero to sixty. No, no, no. The Audi was the slowest. The Audi was the slowest. No, it wasn't. No. Four, I thought it was four point seven. Four point four is the S6. The E43 the is four point five. Ah, it's a tip of a second. So it's the slowest zero to sixty. Yeah. It is probably the most expensive because it doesn't have four hundred horsepower. It's got three hundred ninety-six horsepower. Right? Yeah, I, mean, I just like the styling of but, the, of the E forty-six of the, of the E forty-three AMG. And I agree with that. I do. I actually. I like the styling better. That, uh, We've already kind of talked about the, the new BMW. The, the styling is, is good, but it's got this weird, like, what do you, you call it? The hockey sticks. The hockey sticks on the side, right. So it, that's that, you know, like that amidst it being this big, wide, square, boxy boat. Uh, it's, it's off my table. And then the <coughs> Audi S6, in my it's opinion. Just, I feel like they haven't changed anything. No, it, it's so. They're, they're not changing anything. It's like, very bland. It's, the Audi's very bland it and boring. Is. It doesn't look sporty. It doesn't have a lot of. You know, it's it, 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 it's it's I like it better than the than, so the, than the baby M5, but I, I yeah yeah I agree, I agree with you on that, but um, I think we we both agree we're, we're buying we're buying the uh, the E class Mercedes yeah yeah great so that's what we no, think sure anyway guys um you know of Listen, all this 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 mess of the, we're probably the, wrong in a thousand different places so I can't wait to read the comments and get ripped apart for being wrong I look forward to it. Also, while you're at it, you know, ripping us apart for having incorrect information, leave us, let us know which of the three you would go with. I'm very curious to find that out. Uh, what do you think of the beer? It's awesome. I do too. I, I think it's, I think it's tremendous. Uh, Cape May Brewing Company down in Cape May, New Jersey, which is the, you know, the southern tip of, of the state. Uh, Cape May Brewing Company is actually starting to expand in a lot of different areas, so you if you're in the local tri-state, you know, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, maybe even New York, I don't know if they're up there yet, uh, you might start seeing it pop up when you're uh, on the shelves. Um, shout out to Cape May Brewing Company. Yeah. Keep it up. Let us know if you like it too, if you guys have had it before, if you've tried it, if you haven't tried it, and if you do try it after our recommendation, let us know what you think. And so, um, yeah, that way we can keep putting these out. So on the next week's episode, uh, if you guys have a beer that you'd love to hear us, you know, love to see us put on the show and give a shot to, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Also, next week we're going to be discussing what I drive. Yep. So I drive an Infinity Q60. Uh, we're going to discuss that and the competition. So uh, tune in next week and we'll talk about some luxury sport coupes. Uh, yeah. Cool. Cheers. See you guys next week.